Ta-da! Hello everyone, and today we're unboxing Verni Apollo. For those who never heard about this device, Verni Apollo considered as the most powerful flagship phone for the price. Cost may vary from $250 to $300 and steel ratio of specs, quality and price, making this device practically the best choice on the market. Due to the display with 2K resolution and powerful DecaCore processor, Verni positioned Apollo as the phone that perfectly suits for VR. Moreover, to secure this title, along with the device, they even put the simple plastic VR headset. Among other accessories, you will find USB cable Type-C, 2A charger and pin for SIM slot. The design of Apollo really matches its specs, and despite the fact that appearance doesn't have anything truly innovative, I must admit that the phone still looks quite impressive. Due to the fact that it's made mostly of metal, it's quite heavy for the modern phones. But it's not really a disadvantage, since this weight is pleasant and phone feels very comfortable in your hands. Back cover of the device accepts stripes of plastic inserts for antennas, fully made of single piece of titanium aluminate. On the back side located fingerprint scanner, double flashlight and 21 megapixel Sony camera, which seems also making the device a camera phone as well. But I guess we will talk about camera quality in our full review later. Fingerprint scanner is quite responsive and working in 8 times out of 10. However, Verni should really work on the speed of scan, since it's taking quite a lot of time. I mean, it's only a second, but if you will compare it to Xiaomi Mi 5 scanner, where unblocking happening almost instantly, it is a bit slow. On the left side of the device located two SIM slots. Upper slots support either nano SIM or memory card up to 120GB and lower slot only support micro SIM. Right side has a volume and power button. Top side include mini jack for microphone. And on the bottom we can see USB port type C, speaker on the right from it and microphone on the left. Above the display located proximity sensor, speaker and 8 megapixel wide angle camera. Developers decided to change classical design by removing sensor buttons from the bottom panel right to the 2K screen. About the display, except the resolution for now, I may only say that it's very bright and colorful and have a perfect view under any angle possible. Among the drawbacks that I have found so far is the fact that phones still working on Android 6.0, while bigger brands are already starting to move their devices to Android 7. Anyway, I believe that this is just a temporary flow and in the future developers gonna update the phone to the latest version of the OS. And this is all for today, I'm Elijah, hope you liked our unboxing video. If you want to see full review of Verni Apollo, please subscribe to our channel. If you like current video, click the thumb up and leave your opinions and questions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and farewell.